Let's learn how to rig a character using layer parenting in Adobe Animate. Tip tut. You can download the project files for this tutorial by going to tiptut.xyz and clicking on the resources page. Hello everybody and welcome back to TipTut and welcome back to another Adobe Animate tutorial. As you can see from this little time lapse here, I fast forwarded through the uh, drawing of this character, but don't worry, I'm gonna take you through how I've set him up. I just didn't want you guys to have to sit through a 20 minute tutorial on how to draw something if you're just here for the layer parenting and rigging part of the tutorial. So with that being said, we'll take this time lapse to a close and we'll come back in to take a look at how this character has been constructed. Okay, so here we are inside of Adobe Animate. We have our character set up here, and as you can see, we have several layers. Every major component of our character, like the skull, the jaw, the arms, the body, the legs, etc., that's been drawn on its own layer um, and been turned into a symbol so that we have this stack of layers here, just so that things like the body, for example, is in front of the arms uh, and the legs and things like that are in front of the hands that are down and, and other bits like that. The process of rigging this character is going to consist of adjusting all of the anchor points so that they are connected to the places you would expect them to be connected to. For example, the wrist to the arm, blah, blah, blah. And they rotate at a point where it makes sense. For example, if this hand at the moment, its center point is currently, oh God, sorry, I'm hitting Alt instead of Control there. Its, it's center point is currently here in the middle of the phone, whereas that doesn't make sense because as a wrist, we'd want it to be connected here at the wrist section and joint to that arm. So step one is to go through with your um, free transform tool, which is Q, uh, and adjust the center point or rotation points of all of your elements. For example, I'd like this skull to rotate probably from the base here, as if that's where it's going to be connected to the neck. And the jaw as well will set to a similar point. Uh, the body, we'd probably bring that down and rotate it from the hips. And then of course the legs we bring up and have rotate from a similar point. Um, we, the arms will obviously be connected at the shoulder. So we'll just bring that up to the shoulder joint here and you can just give them a quick spin to make sure you're happy with the way that's going to rotate, which I think I am, so that's fine. This one here would have to be connected at the elbow. Makes sense. This hand as previously discussed would be connected at the wrist and so on. So just go through your entire drawing and make sure that all of your characters are set up in the correct rigging manner. Just make this elbow here. So we can see that's actually a little bit high. I think we drop the elbow, make sure it's in line with this elbow here. That looks again a little bit low, something like that. We're not gonna do much movement with this arm actually, so it doesn't matter too much. But that I think is fine. Okay, I think that is all the layers uh, with the correct rotational points now. And we can check that by just selecting everything here. Um, and we've done head, jaw, hand, arm, left, forearm, body, arm, left, bicep, leg, arm, right, forearm, arm, right, bicep. And in the background obviously doesn't need adjusting. So we now have our rotational points set up. It's time to do the layer parenting that are going to that is going to allow us to rig this character as a single entity while still having separate animatable elements per layer. Usually when you uh, want to move a character like this, you'll move them from the pelvis or the hips. Um, so the legs in this case are going to be the center of our character's um, sort of rig. If you select this small icon above your or next to your character, which says show parenting view, that's going to add an extra element here to your layers palette. And this, this extra element is your layer parenting view. Now this will make more sense once we start, but essentially it's going to create a sort of series of strings. If you've ever seen a detective show and they've got the red thread going from page to page, uh, indicating a link between certain things like the murderer and the evidence and things like that, that's going to basically what it's going to look like here. We're going to be connecting the legs, uh, the body to the legs and the arms to the shoulders and the face to the body and things like that. So let's take our body first of all, probably the best place to start. Selecting your body layer, you can hover over this um, small selection here and you can either click and choose from the list or my preferred method is just to click and drag to the layer that you want. I would like the body to be connected to the legs. 
Now that's going to create this little ribbon between the two elements. And the order of um, inheritance here goes from left to right. So if you move the item that is the leftmost, in this case, the legs, it's going to move everything else that is connected to the legs. Whereas if we were to move the wrist, that might only be connected to the arm and therefore the rest of the rig wouldn't move. It'll make sense once this entire um, rig is drawn up, just in case you're not following along. So uh, we have our body connected to our legs. We're going to need both arms connected to the body. So I'm going to go to arm right bicep and drag that up to the body. And as you can see, that's added to the right of our elements here, meaning if we move the body, then currently the right arm would also move, but the hips wouldn't. And we can prove that by selecting our body and moving it. Let's also connect the left arm's bicep to the body. And the other elements we'd like to be connected to the body are probably the skull itself. So we we'll grab the head, attach that down to the body and the jaw itself will connect to the head. So you can see that's added another layer. So let's work down now. We've done the jaw. This hand, we're going to have to connect to arm left forearm because we want it to join at the wrist here. So then moving this wrist, we'll move that element. Then this arm left forearm itself would want to be connected to arm left bicep so that if we were to move that, then the whole arm would also move. The legs don't need to be connected to anything because they're the base of our rig. Arm right forearm is having to be connected to arm right bicep and arm right bicep is going to be connected to the body. Now, if you've done everything correctly, moving the legs of our character should move the entire character, which it does. And that's fantastic. So now if I were to come in and rotate, for example, this bicep, it should also rotate the forearm as well as the wrist. And that's because we've connected these two elements. And those are the only two elements which are above it in the layer stack, or sorry, not the layer stack, the hierarchy of this character's rig. So that is rigging your character. Now, just in case that's all you wanted to know, and now you're happy to move on, I'm going to take animating this character uh, using the rig into a different episode, which will be released later this week. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want to learn how to animate, make sure you stick around and watch the next video, which will be out in a few days. Otherwise, happy animating, and I'll see you next time on TikTok. Subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.